Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to share with you guys my all new list of top Cydia tweaks currently available for jailbroken devices running iOS 8 through 8.1, jailbroken by way of Pangu. All right, now to start off, I just wanted to say that if you happen to see anything installed on my iPhone 6 Plus here that I don't detail in today's video, then it can be found in one of my earlier top Cydia tweaks for iOS 8 videos. And I will have a link on the screen now via an annotation form if you're on the desktop version of YouTube to my top Cydia tweaks playlist. And from there, it will contain all of my videos outlining the various tweaks that I have installed on my iPhone 6 Plus. And also keep in mind, you will have to be jailbroken. So if you're not already jailbroken, refer to the annotations now, it's very important important that you view this video on the desktop version of YouTube as the annotations also detail the iOS 8.1.1 Pangu patching jailbreak firmware. So keep all of that in mind. And if you're on the main page for this video, just be sure to click my channel name if you want additional information on anything related to jailbreaking. All right, getting right into this video. Up first, we have CC Live Brightness. It's incredibly simple and essentially it just hides Control Center when you're changing the brightness of your device. So as you can see, Control Center is hidden and I still have the brightness slider bar here. And then when I release it, Control Center pops back into view. So it's configurable via the settings app. As you can see, CC Live Brightness right here. And I do have a few different options. I can enable the tweak. I can remove the tint above CC or Control Center. I can show the brightness bar which I have toggled. I like that because then it shows me where the brightness is actually at. And you can even have a closed control center after the brightness preference has been set. Next up, we have something that isn't 100% useful, but it's definitely interesting and kind of fun. And it just showcases what a jailbreak is capable of. So we have spin settings. It's kind of cool, like I stated before. And essentially inside of the settings app, all you have to do is go to the spin settings pane and then enable it. And then from there, you will notice that the settings app app icon does spin. It's a little bit choppy, but like I said, this isn't something that you would really want to have enabled all of the time just to kind of showcase what a jailbreak can do. So inside of the settings pane for it, you can also control the spin speed. So if we wanted to speed it up, let's go ahead and put in two and then save it. And then let's exit out of the settings app here. And as you can see, now it's faster. So that's spin settings. Let's go ahead and disable it now. We have Cylinder. This is an incredibly awesome tweak, and it's for those of you who want the barrel effects, which is essentially when you scroll from one page to the next, you have these awesome animations, but you don't wanna have to pay for it. This is a completely free tweak, like everything outlined in today's video. And actually inside of the settings pane, all you have to do is enable it, and then from there, select your effects. And this actually takes it a step further than barrel, and let me show you why. So I'm going to scroll down here, and we're just going to go with Rubik's Cube Complex. So as you can see, when I scroll from one page to the next, it gives me kind of a Rubik's Cube effect. And let's actually go into it. And now we can select another effect. As you can see, it puts a two by it. And that's the effect that it'll also do in conjunction with the previously selected one. So as you can see, now it gives me a snake and a Rubik's Cube mixture. So let's go ahead and uncheck Rubik's Cube and just check snake. And now as you can see, it's completely different again. So you can create formulas as well. Let's go ahead and back out here. As you can see going in here, when you tap on create a new formula, you have to have certain animations set. So let's go ahead and back out here. I'm going to go in and I'm going to select just a few random animations and then backing out, going into formulas and creating a new formula. It gives you the option to name it. Let's go ahead and just give it a generic name. And then as you can see, it applies those effects and you can quickly switch between your different combinations using formulas. So there's no doubting that Cylinder is an absolutely awesome tweak. Up next, we have Lock Glyph, which is exclusive to devices with a Touch ID sensor. So the iPhone 5S, the iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPad Air 2, and iPad Mini 3. So you'll notice that when I lock my iPhone 6 Plus here, when I go to unlock it with Touch ID, it gives me a nice animation. That's actually the same animation that you get when paying for something with Apple Pay. So this was a highly requested feature and it looks absolutely awesome. It does kind of slow down the unlocking process of your device, but if you like the animation, then it's definitely worth checking out. 
as you can see, it just gives you a really nice and clean unlock animation. And next we have something else that's pretty clean and simple. It's called Always Green. And as you can see up at the top, my battery icon, you may have noticed it already, but I'm actually going over it now. It's green. And normally you'd only get a green battery icon when charging your device. Well, now as the name would suggest, it always stays green. Of course, unless it dips below that 20% mark, then it'll go red. But it's actually really nice, simple, a cool change, and it's great if you want something that you can easily reference to let you know where your device's battery is at without it actually having to reference the percentage if you wanted to disable that. All right, and closing in on the last three, here we have Animate iOS 8. And for those of you who have been around for a while, animated boot logos will be nothing new, but this is new because it enables animated boot logos on iOS 8. It was something that was introduced by the Chronic Dev team quite a while ago, about four years. So let's go ahead and preview it. Inside of the settings app, we just have an option for boot animation now. So let's go ahead and preview one of these that I actually installed via City, and I'll show you how to get some cool animations really quick. And then once you have one set, you can preview it. And that's what you'll get when you reboot your device. You'll have an all new animated boot logo, again, first introduced by the Chronic Dev team. Here are two previews, a white and a black animated Pangu boot logo. And let me show you how to get new ones. So all you have to do is launch Cydia, and then inside of Cydia, go to your sources tab, and then all sources, and then from there, boot logo. Let's go ahead and wait for it to reload the data. And once it does, we can just tap into boot logo. And there are so many of them. As you can see, just scrolling through here, one of these is for green poison iOS 4.2.1. So some of them may not work on your device, but others definitely will. So it's something that I recommend checking out. And it's one more thing that you can personalize on your jailbroken device. All right, now for the seventh tweak in today's list, we have more predict. Let's go ahead and launch up the settings app here. And inside of settings, you have a more predict pane. And then from there, you have two different options. You can set the count and you can also set the gap between different predictions. So I have it set to five. Normally when inside of the iOS 8 keyboard, you have three different prediction options. Let's go ahead and go over to the messages app here. And I'm going to show you guys, as you can see, now it's giving me four different options with another slot over here on the right hand side, the fifth slot, because of course I selected five different predictions. So let's go ahead and just type out something. So this is a, and there we go. We have a few different options here that we can select. Sometimes it doesn't always give you the number of predictions that you have set inside of more predict. And that's probably why Apple opted to go with three because it will always give you three regardless, but some of them may appear blank. As you can see here, we have two blank ones with only three different options. So now we can go ahead and continue here. We have five different predictions. It's kind of cool. I definitely recommend it for those of you with bigger devices like the iPhone 6 Plus or even an iPad. It works great and the developer's actually working on an option to where you can set different prediction levels depending on whether you're in portrait or landscape mode. And finally, for the eighth tweak, we have something that takes care of an annoyance at least for most users. So let me go ahead and open up Cydia here. It's called No Recently Deleted and essentially it stops pictures from being moved into the recently deleted photo album once they're deleted off of your device. It doesn't completely remove the recently deleted album. The developer states that he is currently working on that, but for now it stops pictures that are recently deleted from being moved into said album. It's pretty great and I definitely recommend it for any of you who don't like your pictures being saved in that recently deleted folder and then having to manually clear them out for a second time. So check it out inside of Cydia. And now that pretty much wraps up this list. I just wanted to give you guys a preview of a tweak that is coming to Cydia soon. It's a premium tweak and it's absolutely awesome. So let me go ahead and activate it here. And it essentially gives you a number of different options. It kind of reinvents multitasking or at least reimagines it. I definitely recommend checking it out. It's not available yet. And I will detail it when it actually launches. The developer states that he is planning on releasing it on Thursday. So this Thursday, Thanksgiving, be sure to 
tune in. I will have exclusive coverage on the tweak as it goes live. So if you aren't currently subscribed to my channel, just be sure to click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you're on the main page for this video. And one last thing before concluding, I just wanted to remind you guys that this is my first video in 4K. If you have annotations enabled, you will have seen that toward the beginning of this video. But at any rate, be sure to rate this up for my first 4K video and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what your favorite city of tweaks are. And if you guys are interested in earning paid apps, gift cards, and bigger electronic devices, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. And then after tapping download, if you're on iOS 8, press the home button, open the app and download and install the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's actually never even fully installed on your devices. It's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. From there, simply download sponsored apps for points, refer friends for even more, and redeem said points for the aforementioned prizes. All right, and that wraps up this video, guys. I hope you like it, and I hope it gave you some awesome ideas for some cool Cydia tweaks currently available for jailbroken devices. And if you guys want any details on the current iOS 8 jailbreak situation, again, be sure to check out my channel. And to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos on jailbreaking, be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.